The Education Secretary, Gillian Keegan, on the airwaves this morning, very much on message. So the first thing is to get get this get, get the schools open, get the minimise the disruption to education. But then, at the end of another interview, does anyone ever say, you know what, you've done a f good job because everyone else has sat on their ass and done nothing? No, no, no signs of that. No. On the Sky News Politics Hub, the Education Secretary confronted with the offending clip. Everyone else has sat on their ass and done nothing. No, no, no signs of that. No. Before then, apologising. Uh, that was an off-the-cuff comment, by the way, as well, which was, as you realised, I thought the interview was over, so I apologised for my choice language. It comes as some blame for school closures starts to be directed towards the Prime Minister, with one former senior civil servant saying as Chancellor, Rishi Sunak cut school repair budgets. Are you to blame for what's happening now? Do you want to apologise to parents and pupils? No, I think that is completely and utterly wrong. Actually, one of the first things I did as Chancellor in my first spending review in 2020 was to announce a new 10-year school rebuilding programme for 500 schools. Now, that equates to about 50 schools a year that will be refurbished or rebuilt. And if you look at what we've been doing over the previous decade, that's completely in line with what we've always done. As MPs return to Westminster after summer, this heated row is the last thing the Prime Minister needs. The Education Secretary's unplanned intervention is definitely embarrassing, but the bigger political risk for the government is still that broader image of concrete potentially crumbling in schools and other public buildings. It's already being seized on by Labour as evidence as they see it of the result of 13 years of Tory rule. And looking at the figures for recent years, in 2020, the Department for Education said £5.3 billion a year was needed to maintain schools and mitigate safety risks. The department requested an average of £4 billion a year from the Treasury, but they were only allocated £3.1 billion a year, 40% less than the recommended figure. I think we would look back in shame. Teaching unions angry, more progress hasn't been made. We've got 22,000 schools in this country. When exactly, which, which century are we expecting to have the school estate fit for purpose for young people? I think lots of parents will listen to that, listen to the boastfulness of the Prime Minister, and they will think that what we've got is a government for whom education simply doesn't matter. Rishi Sunak chaired a meeting with his education secretary earlier and will publish a full list of schools affected this week. A problematic return from the summer break in more ways than one. Rob Powell, Sky News in Westminster.